So I got something in the mail today and I thought I would share with the class because I'm very excited. <laughs> So here it is. I don't want to pass judgment, but I literally got something that was almost identical from Walmart like two weeks ago and I returned it because the faucet on the bottom didn't fit and it was just seemed kind of like very iffy and it the, faucet, the um, spigot didn't even fit. So I'm really hoping that this is not the case again with Gardner's Supply. That just says to me that it doesn't tighten the whole way because I'm pretty positive I was just tightening it by accident. <laughs> I'm trying not to pass judgment because I really like Gardner Supply and I know that they would not send me something as crummy as what Walmart sent me. Because everything else that I've experienced from Gardner Supply has been fantastic. So, I'm staying optimistic. Also, clearly don't know how to use a screwdriver. Ugh. Okay, so there's my stuff at the bottom. Um, should I, maybe I can reach down? Okay, so first of all, I just leaned, leaned the barrel over to get the stuff out. And look at this. This is kind of exactly what I was afraid of. Like, and I'll show you how bad it is. It's even like they've gotten the whatever that is, tar, like all the way around the bin. It's like, it's everywhere. Look. Like, I guess it's not a big deal because... I can scratch it off, but I just thought for the amount of money it would have been nicer. It's like very scratched up here. Why, Jesus, why? Okay, so here's all the stuff I just dumped out. Something that the Walmart brand did not come with. What is this little baby? Oh man, come on. This little baby hose wasn't in the Walmart brand, so I guess that's cool. But all of this is exactly the same as the Walmart brand that I just sent back. So we'll see. for a little metal piece that like a little metal hook on the side um, so your hose can hang like this but that wasn't in the box <laughs> so I don't know um, I will say this these pieces tightened um, pretty well like I don't know if you saw me struggling but if <laughs> struggle a little bit not as strong as I thought I was um, but they're definitely tighter than the Walmart brand was and this piece actually went on whereas the one that I received from Walmart the piece didn't even fit um, the hose though it's like kinked in some areas um, like here I don't know you can really see that oh my nails um, the hose is kinked in some areas but it fits <sighs> I don't know I think I'm gonna give it a shot and have a little faith mostly because I really don't want to return another one of these and everything fit in the way it was supposed to so I'm probably not going to be using this as a planter just because I'm a little nervous about um, it's really shady in the area where I'm about to go put this uh, but we'll see 
and I have to screw this piece back on. I checked also in the inside and that little metal hook for here wasn't on the inside either. So I'm not too sure why it didn't come with that, especially since the hole was clearly pre-drilled. Um, so I'll set it up, we'll see how it looks. Okay, it's up. It's not fully set up yet because we have to get somebody out here to get these um, lines out of the way and we have to get a diverter. We also have to take care of this. Look at this. All this ivy damage um, everywhere. It's literally a weed. If you watch my other um, videos in the January and February tour, you know how I feel about this ivy. But I'm actually quite pleased. I'll back up again with the way that this looks so far. That's not um, leakage, by the way. That's just when I took the um, when I took the spout off, it started leaking a little water. That's not actually from the rain barrel. So we'll see. So far, so cute. Okay, so I just got home from work. It has been raining and I'm gonna check the gardener's supply rain barrel. So this was our little makeshift um, situation until we got our uh, reverter in the mail, which it did come today, so I'm gonna fix that. Um, clearly we need to drill some holes in there and that is exactly why I did not plant anything in there. But the saddest part of all, it leaks. I'm so bummed. It leaks. Um, yeah. But for this, it's not full to the top, so turning this does nothing at this moment. It's probably not full because it leaks. And, but I did notice when I turn it on, the water comes out pretty quickly. So that makes me happy, but Look how it is literally streaming out of there. That is awful. I'm so sad about that leak. It's it's going fast too. Let's see if I can plug it up. I don't even know. I, I, I don't even know where it's coming from. It's, it looks like it's coming from up there, like here. Oh. Yeah, it's streaming out. That sucks. I don't know. So if anybody has any tips or if you have dealt with a leak in your rain barrel before, I will accept tips, tricks, all of the above um, because I really liked it and I really want to keep it. And this would be the second rain barrel that I would be returning, not to gardener, gardener supply, but overall to anybody. So I really want to make it work. Okay, I guess that's it. Okay, I take back everything I just said. It's a piece of crap and I'm so angry right now. And I feel like I would be more calm about this if it didn't literally just happen and I didn't just lose all of my water. Not a good purchase. The whole thing just popped off. There's water everywhere. I'm like standing in a puddle right now. I lost all of the water. He's trying to get it apart. Like this was basically just glued on with like tar apparently because it popped right out like i feel like that's so unacceptable i'm angry probably will be less angry later if i can figure out how to fix it but right now i'm angry so i'm pretty sure that we spent the last what hour and a half hour and a half getting the parts that we needed for this freaking rain barrel because it broke do you feel good daniel she is angry i'm so mad so we just got back. We went to Home Depot. They didn't have anything. And then we ended up going to this like random plumbing store and got this. Let me show you. So basically what this is, is some type of, I don't know, PVC pipe with some threading. We're going to put this in the barrel, make sure that it's um, fastened tightly. And then we have this um, hose attachment to go with it. This is the piece that they gave us that broke off. So basically, 
it was just glued. I don't know if you can really even see that. But this piece was basically just glued right onto the rain barrel right here. Lovely. So this is what it looks like at the moment. Like, ugh, I'm just horrified right now. I'm so upset. And let me just be clear. I I did get this rain barrel from Gardener Supplies, but it's not their product. Um, I believe it's called an Al Green or Al Algene, Algene, I believe. Um, I'll flash the name up, but rain barrel. And I have gotten other things from Gardener Supply, uh, like the stepping stones that I just showed, and I love them. I I love them to death. I think that they're a great company. I think they should maybe not sell this. Um, but this is not a gardener supply rain barrel. Um, so if you do, if you are researching rain barrels and you see Al Jean, I believe, maybe don't, <laughs> maybe don't do that. Mm -hmm.